So, what's up? In this video, I will discuss about multiplication and division with integers. On the first video, I already discussed about the addition and subtraction involving integers. And you know that the one that you need to remember is change or convert the subtraction questions into an addition questions. Now, we jump to the new one, multiplication and division. In the multiplication and division, you just need to remember two things. When you multiply two numbers and then the signs of those two numbers is the same, it will give you a positive result. On the other way around, if you're dealing with a multiplication and division involving two numbers with different signs, then the result for sure, it will be a negative number. So same will give you positive number and different will give you negative number. That's all. This is the thing that you need to remember. Example, negative 3 times negative 4. Multiplication involving two numbers. Those two numbers have the same sign, negative, negative. So the result will be positive. Then now look on the number alone. It will be 3 multiplied by 4 and you know the result is 12. So positive 12. If you have this kind of questions, multiplication involving negative 3 and 4. Those two numbers have different sign. So it means the result will be negative. Negative what? Then take a look on the number alone. 3 times 4 is 12. So the result will be negative 12. Another example on the division. Negative 3 divided by negative 2. Division involving two numbers. And those two numbers are all negative. Same sign. So the result will be positive. Positive what? Then you just need to take a look on the number alone. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now, the last example, negative 3 divided by 2. Division involving two numbers, but the sign is different. The first one is negative, the second one is positive. If it's different, then the result will be a negative number. Negative what? You just take a look on the number alone. 6 divided by 2 is 3. I think that's all. Bye.